Hey everyone, this week I'm going to be talking about wheels yet again, and I'm going to specifically be speaking about the new wheels that LEGO has released somewhat recently, and their compatibility with my own FLO robot design, Sirius. The inspiration for this tutorial came up when I was talking to David Luters, who is the coach of his own FLL team, and he talks to me every now and then, and we bounce ideas off of each other. And one specific time, he emailed me, showing me some LDDs he made of my Sirius robot using the relatively new uh, motorcycle uh, tires that LEGO had released. Now, my original Sirius design uses the smooth motorcycle tires, and he was showing me different um, tires put on the same robot that affected the stance of the robot. More specifically, the blocky motorcycle wheels that are, fit on the same hub but are a little bit taller and it alters the stance of the robot and changes its traction capabilities. These are the wheels that we're going to be looking at today. On the left we have 11957 which is the newer of the wheels. This is a slightly taller one that David showed me on the robot. And then in the middle we have 88516, which is the original smooth motorcycle wheel that I used on Sirius. I'm also showing 2902, which is a more traditional, more commonly used motorcycle wheel for FLL robots. And this is of course so you can get a frame of comparison if you've never seen the other two wheels. When you arrange the wheels on the same axle such that their centers are concentric, you can easily see the size difference between the wheels. 11957 is quite a bit larger than the middle sized wheel which is the original one used on Sirius which itself is also quite a bit larger than 2902 the more traditionally used robot wheel so if you were to switch to the larger wheel on Sirius 11957 you're going to get more speed out of your robot but it could come at the price of making your robot a little bit more unstable because you have to think about whether that speed is really necessary the next thing I want to address, other than the size, is the difference in tread that's molded into each of these tires. And this, of course, uh, will change the traction properties of your robot, even if it's just a little bit. 88516, the original wheel used on Sirius, is a very smooth motorcycle tire. Um, and there's very shallow grooves that really don't do much in the way of traction. So you can kind of think of this as just a totally bald tire. 2902 has kind of like a checkered pattern on it and this also doesn't really do much in terms of traction now 11957 came from an off-road motorcycle Lego set and so predictably it has a much more aggressive tread pattern on it with big knobby wheels now I don't necessarily think that this will have that much of an effect on traction because it's not like you're going to be clawing through dirt with your EV3 robot but it is going to change it a little bit another thing that would be of concern is that maybe 11957 won't roll as smoothly because it has a blocky tread pattern as opposed to the perfectly smooth one on the other tire that I originally used for Sirius I personally have not yet had the time to do a traction comparison of these two wheels but if you'd like to learn more about how you can do your own traction comparison I'd recommend you watch my video from last week which will teach you how to do just that but anyway I just wanted to note the difference in tread pattern because this could have a slight effect on traction but also affect the smoothness in the way your robot rolls as it drives I think I've yammered on about these wheels for long enough and I think it's about time I bring it back to the main purpose of this video which is talking about these wheels in relation to Sirius. Now the reason why I chose to use 88516 in my original Sirius design was because I wanted to invert the EV3 large drive motors in Sirius's chassis. I've covered the reason as to why I did this in some earlier videos, but basically it comes down to space saving reasons, and this is the way you can get the most compact robot, but at the same time use some really tall wheels so you can get good speed for your FLL robot. Unfortunately, this configuration actually prevents you from using the more traditional motorcycle wheel 2902 because it's just too short. I modified my design to use the NXT motors and those wheels use 2902. 
So if you want to use the NXT motors, 2902 would be your best bet. But I had to move on to 88516 in order to get it to fit with the EV3 motors because that was the largest wheel that was available at the time. The thing that frustrated me back when I originally built Sirius in 2015 is that even though 88516 was the largest tire I could get my hands on, it still didn't seem quite tall enough because the robot which balances on the two wheels and a ball caster in the back would always tip just a little bit slightly forward because the ball caster would be lower than the wheels themselves and this would leave the robot being not quite perfectly level which kind of annoyed me this graphic is great because it gives you a visual comparison of the differing stances when you use the two different wheels on the left we have the original design for Sirius and as you can see the wheels are just a bit too short and the robot has a slight pitch forward and you can see this when you look at the red tooth that's on the front of the robot by contrast on the right this is the robot that has the newer taller 11957 wheels and this robot happens to be perfectly level because the wheel is the perfect height to match the ball caster in the back and on the left wheel on the right robot is actually still the original tire so you can see the slight gap that you form and this is the difference between the robot being level and the robot having a pitch forward like the robot on the left which is the original so it's great to see that all you need to do to fix Sirius's stancing issue and make it sit perfectly level is substitute the 88516 tire for the 11957 tire. And it's a non-invasive modification because all you need to do is swap the tire. You don't even need to change the hub on the robot. To wrap up this video, the 11957 motorcycle wheel fixes the stancing issue on Sirius and makes it sit perfectly level. However, it comes at the cost of potentially making your robots ride a little bit rougher, whereas the 88516 tire will have a much smoother roll. Finally, the difference in traction is yet to be determined. Thanks for watching my tutorial this week. If you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this every week. If you have a suggestion for a tutorial, be sure to submit it in the comments section below. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.